What's up everybody? Kimberly Olson here coming in live tonight for a special exclusive interview with Charlotte Lasasso. I'm going to have to ask her if I'm saying her last name right because as soon as I said it I thought well I'm not really sure about that so we're going to give her a second to pop on here but you guys just get nice and cozy because sometimes it takes a second to get people on. So if you are watching this right now, you are probably on the replay, go ahead and put two in the comments. If you are watching this live, put one. I see some people popping on. Hey guys, nice to see you. I saw some of you just on a live that I was just doing on my team page. <laughs> so, um, oh, Tony, I just got my shirt. I will be posting a selfie tomorrow. Oh, oh dear God, I just did something. Oh, wait, 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 yes, yes, yes. Charlotte, broken record if we got her on already. Like, I'm not even kidding. It says it's adding. Whoop, whoop. Okay, we'll give it a second here. But I got that shirt. It's so cute. I can't wait. I'm going to post the selfie tomorrow, and you guys are going to see how freaking cute it is because it says hashtag gold digger and it's adorable. So, we are adding Charlotte on right now. Get ready, everybody. Go ahead and put new if you're new to me. It works. It works. It's, it's, that's a record, by the way. I'm just, that saying. was like an never ad. Yeah. I saw you and I like swooped in and then it was like, wait, you just muted your, your comments. I'm like, no, 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 that's not what I was trying to do. So I'm just welcoming everybody on. So go ahead and put new in the comments if you're new to me or Charlotte, and then also share this. So what I want you guys to do, there's a share button if you're watching it live, put shared and then pick some people to add. And then also what you can do is you can tag people in the comments. You use the at symbol. And what we'll do is it'll give them a personal notification to come in and watch this. So if you are in network marketing, especially, or if you are building online, you have got to hear this message and this information because attraction marketing is the number one thing you need to learn if you want to build on social media. All the other stuff can come after, but if you don't have social media down, you're going to be shooting yourself in the foot. And this girl is a freaking expert. So welcome, Charlotte. Now, how do I say your last name? I said it and then I was like, and I don't know how to say it. Is it Lasso? Oh, okay. A little sass. All right. I like yeah. it. I can remember that. So welcome. Thank you for being on today. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here with you. Yay! I love your background, by the way. That's super cute. Oh, thanks. I love it. Yes. Okay. So to jump in, why don't you introduce yourself to the audience? Um, I think a lot of people um, may or may not know you. So why don't you share a little bit about who you are and what got you into network marketing? Yes. Okay. So I am Charlotte Lasasso. Um, I am a dental hygienist. I'm also a network marketing professional. Um, I used to be one of the biggest network marketing haters, surprise, surprise, um, up until nine months ago. So really, um, for me, I had never seen anyone close to me be super successful with network marketing. So what initially intrigued me about it was that I was seeing someone that I knew and trusted on social media organically posting about how it has um, been successful in their life and I felt like I could connect with the person um, and then from there I was at a point in my life where I really truly needed this and that in turn uh, made me become open to the opportunity and to the idea basically um, so really I feel like it was hearing someone that I knew that I trusted and that I loved um, Seeing her be successful really is what opened me up. And that, in turn, um, really made me have a true passion for this whole attraction marketing thing because it's really what caught me and caught my eye. So that's that's cool. And also, too, I think it also set you up to be so drawn to it because you were so not wanting to be that annoying, spammy kind of, you know, in your face, like just the stigma around it, you know, because we are still, we're still working through it as an industry. Right. You know, I feel like it's completely elevated. There, there's, you know, Tony Robbins, people that are just, you can't deny it, are backing it up and saying it's, it's the way to go. But I still think that there's so many people out there doing it the wrong way that we're still, you know, we're still going upstream a little bit. So I'm sure that's probably played in a little bit of you wanting really to build this the right way. Right, exactly. So in the last, like, cause you've been in network marketing nine months now, is that Correct. right? Awesome. And by the way, you guys, she, she's a dental hygienist full time. She's a mom and she's been building this on the side, which I love because up until recently that was me to a T and now I've been able to go part time. Um, and I love that because so many people say, well, I just don't have time. And she's, you guys, she's a living example of you just work it into the nooks and crannies of your day. But also if you're, you're wise big enough and you have that passion, you'll make it happen what she's doing. So in your journey in the last nine months, um, was there anything you did to start that you're, you've become over time? 
time you changed with how you go about with attraction marketing? Did you start off like just knowing attraction marketing or how did you start off? Were you spamming at all or doing any of the funny things uh, we talk about? Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. I sure was. Um, <laughs> uh, I'll be honest. I mean, I would love to sit here and tell you that I'm perfect, but I'm, I'm not, I'm nowhere near perfect. I don't think any of us are. Um, and it really, that's one thing that I, you know, I graduated with a degree in biology. I had no clue how to run my biz, run a business. I had no idea about marketing at all whatsoever. And uh, one thing I didn't really realize is we're so focused when we first join on learning the products and learning about um, the compensation plan and about the opportunity. I really felt like when I got started, as much as I hated network marketing and as much as I didn't want to be that girl, there really weren't that many tools for me in terms of um, – marketing how do i not be that girl um so i really had to think outside the box and in the meantime i was this newbie girl who was super excited about the product i loved it and i wanted everyone to know about it so i did i did get caught up in that a little bit and i realized very quickly that there was a way to do it without being spammy and quickly snapped out of it um when I met you, found you, and started learning from you, to be honest with you. <laughs> but awesome. yeah, so, I mean, in terms of what I've changed, you know, there's a few things. I, I really feel like one of the main things is my mindset. Um, and what I mean by that, it's really, it's more so, I feel like organically, we want to think about ourselves. It's me, 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 me. And sometimes we look at people as if they're dollar signs when really we need to focus more so on the fact that they are human beings too. And they're so much more than a dollar sign. And I mean, I feel like it really took me signing up my first business partner and really having someone else feel like their life was being changed for me to feel that that's really what this is all about. This is all about bettering people's lives. You have so much to offer them and just that little shift in mindset helps a lot. Um, and then the other thing is really just putting myself in their shoes. So basically, you know, if you're going to walk into a party where you don't know anyone, um, you're not going to walk up to a random person and start rambling off about, oh my gosh, I have this new product and this opportunity. <laughs> There's this girl on my team. She's making $30,000 a month. Like you have <laughs> got me when I was started. I was telling everybody how much everybody was making. They're like, oh, that's nice. Have fun with that. <laughs> yeah. So come on. I have no clue who you are, but let's go make $30,000. I mean, <laughs> so you can't, that's one thing that I had to really, really focus on is putting myself in their shoes and thinking how I would want to be treated because mm -hmm. it's all about building relationships with people you want to you know no one is going to just jump into this with you they've never met you and you're in the same sentence you're offering them an opportunity you need to build trust with people and build a relationship with people before they're going to want to do something with you and I think that's really really another thing that I've changed um and the other thing is really just being patient that's oh, that's so yeah, mm -hmm. that's the hard one. Um, and one of my favorite mm -hmm. quotes is um, marry the process and divorce the outcome. Yeah, love it. It's one of my favorites. And, you know, as a network marketer, it's so, so easy to get caught up in that desire to just want it for everyone. And we just lose our focus, I feel like. And so for me, I just had to learn to be very patient and just continue being consistent. Um, those are some of the things that really I have changed over the last nine months. So I love that. Did you guys should write that down? Write that down. That's tweetable. Um, she said, uh, being patient, but being consistent, right? So it's not just about, you know, okay, well, I reached out to these three people and I'm going to be patient that in three months they join, but you have to be consistent where you are reaching out to people building relationships, but you have to keep reaching out and you have to keep following up and, and being consistent. You have to basically work it for right. sure. That's so that kind of uh, segues into the number one question I get from people, just people that follow me 
And for you guys that, that don't know, I met Charlotte um, in one of my, my first social media boot camp, actually. So the next one is open. Um, so just throwing that do in there because I know. Yes, do it. Um, but I was just like her. I was so frustrated that I had no tools. Of, I didn't know what to say to people. Like, I really wanted to be like what you said, where I was being genuine, but I, I didn't have any tools. So I basically, like, studied and, and tried to teach, like, step by step, this is what you do. And so you're, like, the rock star boot camper graduate ever. Like, you literally implemented everything we talked about and then ran with it. And some of you guys don't know this, but off the cuff, she got asked to speak at uh, an event in her company off the cuff, like didn't know. And she went up there in front of all these people and trained on social media and they all walked away like with tools. They knew what to do. They were messaging her after like, oh my gosh, you helped me so much. So you, you're a walking billboard of what this is all about. Like you live it, you breathe it, you act it. And I'm just so proud of Thank you. It's you. just so fun to see you. Anyways, so tell, tell people watching, this is what they want to know. They ask me all the time. How do I work in the product or opportunity? For example, um, I was uh, teaching at an event on Saturday and I made the whole audience take a picture of themselves at the event and say, oh man, I'm at this great uh, inspiring event. It's awesome. But I wanted to share it, but I'm not sure who's watching or who's seeing my post. Comment below if you're seeing my stuff. And people were commenting, I'm seeing your post, I'm seeing your, your post. And then everyone was messaging me saying, what do I say now? And I was like, okay, guys, like you got to you know, reach out, find out how they're doing, connect. So what would you say to people with, like you said, if you're at a party, you're not going to walk up and say, hey, you want to try my toothpaste? But how would, how do you go about finding a way to weave in your product or your opportunity? So obviously this isn't like a one size fits all type of a deal. Right. And that's one of the main things that I've had to figure out is using a script is not going to work. Um, so you really need to customize what you're saying to people. And that goes right back to the whole thing with building relationships. So the biggest thing that you want to focus on is finding people's pain points. And once you know people's pain points, you know how to weave in what it is that you have to offer, whether it is your product or it's your opportunity. Um, so basically it makes you look more genuine. Um, now that's hard to say with your post that you made because mm -hmm. there's no saying if those people you've already built a relationship with. So if it's someone that's commenting on a post that you have um, created curiosity for and you've got them interested, you don't, you still don't want to jump right into it. You want to build a relationship. If you don't know what their pain points are, then you don't know how to give them a solution to what it is that, you know, what you can bring to the table. So I think that's my biggest piece of advice is really mm -hmm. through building your relationships, you need to figure out what people's pain points are, whether they, um, you know, whether it's your product, there's things you can gear towards that. Um, if it's the opportunity, there's so many different things. People need more time. They want to be with their families more. People want to go on vacations more. People, I mean, there's so many different things that you can um, find out from people just by asking simple questions and engaging in people. So that's really my biggest thing because, again, being in their shoes, I know mm -hmm. that someone who, you know, yeah, of course, you're reaching out to somebody's post and you're, like, intrigued by it. But at the same time, just throwing an opportunity out there can be, it still can sound salesy. So that's my advice is really trying to find their pain points before introducing it. I love that. That's awesome. And if you don't know what their pain points are, then you probably haven't spent enough time like following them and watching their posts. Cause sometimes it's so one-sided. Like you said, if you do a curiosity post and they comment, you don't know anything about them. You don't know if they're a mom with postpartum hair loss for us, that's our industry, or maybe you're not going to bring up weight loss supplements. If you haven't looked on their profile to see, you know, do they, do they, or do they not need to lose weight? Right. So it's, I mean, I've had that happen. I was going to use that as one of my examples. I just had that happen today, but um, it's, it's a good indicator if you don't know the pain points. So if you're listening to Charlotte and you're thinking, well, I don't, I don't know what she's talking about. I don't know what their pain points are. You haven't gotten to know them enough. So you do need to spend more time and be patient, which was, I was going to ask you any advice for the newbies out there um, now that, cause in network marketing years, you're, you've been doing it for a long time. Nine months is a long time to stay with one company. Right. It's just the, the matter. So any advice for the newbies that 
are just getting started out and they, they're feeling like they're not making enough progress. They're getting no's or crickets or people aren't responding. As far as how to look at this long term, because I love how you said patience. And I know you're building a business, a long term business, and you have big goals and big dreams. Um, any advice for people as far as how do you shift from looking at this with the short term wins versus really going for this for the long haul? Any advice there? Yeah. So my biggest thing is to focus on being genuine and true to who you are. Don't change who you are just to mold yourself to your company, basically. Um, and by doing that, you're being authentic on social media. You're posting daily. You're telling your story. Um, you're doing live so your audience gets to know who you are. And you're being unique. Um, unique to yourself, not to your products and your opportunity. Um, because you don't want to post about your products and opportunity every day. You know, this, mm -hmm. is, this is social media. It's not selling media and people don't want to jump on Facebook and see someone trying to sell them something all day, every day. So just be true and be genuine, be authentic, tell a story. People will connect with you. That's going to get them curious about what it is that you're doing. If you're posting things make to make people curious, they're going to reach out to you. They're going to want to know more. They're going to start knowing you. They're going to start liking you. They're going to start trusting you. And then with that, you just build relationships. So it, it is a process. It really is. But if you're consistent with it, it's simple. It's just a few daily things that you need to do. And it's reaching out. And it's a business that really does have a lot of potential. So yeah, you're so right, which is awesome. Um, and also, too, if you guys haven't gotten Facebook Lives down yet, just put Facebook Live in the comments, and I'll give you guys the link to my workshop that's coming up tomorrow night. I want you guys all comfortable with that so I don't forget. Okay, so we're going to share a few cold message examples because, believe it or not, even though we're going to share just a couple, I have two, so if you have any, I have great, two. If not, don't. Okay, cool. Um, we want to share these because if it's you, we want you to hear this because it's a lot of times people watching this, they're like, Oh, I don't spam. And then we're going to say what you say. And you're like, Oh, that's me. And it's not to make you feel bad. It's to help you because we were this girl. Like I was not to my two examples, but I was spamming everybody. When I first started, I like word vomited on everybody. It was, it was I bad. definitely okay. word vomited. Oh yeah. And it was like, Oh my gosh. And you need, you could quit your job. And, da, da, da. and I was like telling people like their future. It was horrible. Okay. So my first one is, I just had somebody today that said, um, I'm looking for some, for some models and I will give you 40% off on a 90 day weight loss supply. And I was like, um, I don't have any weight to lose. <laughs> yes. I want, I have two kids. So yes, I always want to feel more toned and trim. Right. But I'm not going to take a weight loss supplement. And so I thought that was really funny because one, it's a cold message, but two, they clearly didn't look on my profile that I'm a nutritionist and a personal trainer. So I probably wouldn't be the best person for that. So the way I would recommend going about that, if that's your product, then I would definitely go the route of getting to know them, do a curiosity post uh, with something, maybe you in a, a cute summer dress and saying, man, I'm so glad that I found an, a supplement that I can just take before meals and just feel my best this summer. I'm beating the blow. I'm feeling great. And people are like, well, I want to know about, about that. So you're going to create that curiosity. But in Messenger, the people that get to know me, and they probably have other, uh, you know, other products that might be a good fit, but that would not be a good fit. So I would not be a good fit for the product, but they could maybe go with the opportunity because they could see, oh, wow, Kimberly is in health and wellness. She would be great for my company. And they could get to know me that way and open up the door. Maybe, are you open to finding out more about what I do? I think it would be a great fit for you because of your background. Um, would you like to learn more? And I would totally be open to that if I was on the receiving end versus here, would you like to lose some weight? I was like, uh, no. So what about you, Charlotte? What do you have? All right. Hey girl. Hey, I'm not sure if you've seen or not, but I'm up for a huge promotion with a huge, <laughs> <laughs> this is for real. With a huge pay raise, and I am so, 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 so close. If your makeup bag is running low or you're wanting new products for spring, I'd love to replace it with one of my products in my shop. I know with your support, I can hit my goal. Can I count on you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
sorry. You guys hit the little, hit the, the funny face. Like that's funny. And if it's you, I'm sorry, I'm laughing, but I'm not sorry. And we have to give you a disclaimer. These are people who don't know us. This is complete yeah, cold messages. Like, I've never talked to these people before, right? Is that same with and you? And I never responded. <laughs> I can't help it. I'm always like, can I give some advice? I normally do. I've had a couple of girls who are like blocked me. I'm like, well, can I just, I can't help it. Here's some advice. This might go over a little bit better. That is, that's classic girlfriend. That one, that was pretty good. Okay. My other one is, will you post my teeth whitening product? In return, I will send you a sample this week. And this again is for, this just happened to me yesterday. This is for somebody I don't know. I think my teeth look fine because I use filters. Ah. And you're a dental hygienist. So you, if they said that to you, that'd be crazy. You'd be like, I'm a dental hygienist. Thanks a lot. But I don't you guys see how going to somebody and saying, can you post about my teeth whitening can come off a little bit offensive. They're basically saying I need to whiten my teeth or I need to lose weight like the other one. That's not going to make me receptive to finding out more. It's going to turn me off. And not only am I probably going to block them. I've had some girls message me like, I'm getting blocked. That's probably why they're going to unfriend you. But the worst of it is, you guys, there's two bad things. One, they're going to they're gonna have a bad taste in their mouth about your product in network marketing in general. And we've mm -hmm. got to change the way that we're sharing. It's sharing. It's social sharing. It's not... It's not spamming people. So Charlotte, what's your last one? I don't know. My last one's not that good, but I'll share <laughs> it anyways. Hey, Charlotte, I am so impressed with your page. I use your company's products and love it. I wanted to share an amazing opportunity with you. I'm a team leader with blank. I have two girls on my team that are with your company as well. It's a brand new company and ground floor opportunity. Are you interested? Mm, yeah, that's not good. So that's kind of like poaching a little yeah. bit. Um, yeah, I'm not. And I've been that, getting but... a lot of those lately. Okay. And you know what, too, for those that are in network marketing, you guys, every, they're always going to be out there and they're going to do that. You guys always remember and ask yourself, is this classy? You know, is this the authentic, genuine way we want to go about it? Why not be so incredible and do Facebook lives and curiosity posts and attraction marketing like she's talking about, why not be so that way that people reach out to you and they want to join your team? Why do you have to go after and try to steal people from other teams, right? Like I know it's the kind of nature of it, but it's never been my game ever. And I won't do that. I absolutely will not. And I don't, I don't care if it takes me longer to build my team. I just, that's just kind of the yeah. integrity thing. So yeah, you're, you're right. That one, that one doesn't, that's not. So the better thing to do would be just to reach out and build a relationship. If they're in network marketing, great. Support each other, right? right. I mean, we got to support each other too. And you never know. At some point they might go, ooh, kind of like what she's doing. I want to look over there. So last advice, uh, any take home tips? Can you give one tip? If people are watching and they have been spamming, obviously stop. But what would be your take home tip? The one thing that you feel like once you kind of got that, you really, all of the pieces sort of fell into place for you. Really, my, I would say my biggest take home tip is to not lose your identity, to be your true authentic self. And once you find that and you're able to share genuinely and create curiosity, everything else will flow into place. And that's mm -hmm. what I you're found. Scared. It's very mm -hmm. simple to implement and it makes the world of a difference. And it, Absolutely. it clears up your news feed for heaven's sakes. I mean, it really does. It makes getting on Facebook just be a completely different world when you don't have to worry about someone constantly trying to sell to you. If someone mm -hmm. is interested, they will reach out. They won't feel yeah. forced to be a part. You know, that's... Yes. Yeah, it's totally different. And plus on your end, so like on my end, and I think that's why people are drawn to people like you and I built up, you know, people, followers too. I feel like people are drawn to us because we're just being ourselves, right. like good, bad, ugly, like here we are, we have, this is what we have to offer. And so when you're trying to be somebody else, it just really, I feel like kind of shows through there. So thank you so much. You're, you're awesome. And so I'll keep you on for a second, but if you guys are watching this, my Facebook live workshop is in closing in 24 hours. So put Facebook live in the comments. I will get you guys the link for it. And what it is, I'm going to teach you how to do Facebook lives before, during, and after titles, topics, context, content, how to get 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 views on your Facebook lives, but do this attraction marketing through Facebook lives like we talked about. So put that in the comments. 
Also, my social media boot camp is opening up and it is eight weeks long and it's A, B, C, D, everything I teach you um, of exactly what I did to build my business online in a genuine, authentic way, like what Charlotte was talking about. So it's open. I do a couple of years. So the next one is opening up in July or starting in July. It's open now. So just put boot camp in the comments and we'll get you the link for that as well. So thank you so much You're for welcome. being on your waiting. And I can see, I don't know if you can see all the comments and the likes, but there's lots of hearts and love and all kinds of stuff. So People are really appreciate you taking the time to share this message because we've got to get it out there. So thanks everybody for watching. Have a great night. And um, tomorrow morning, uh, hashtag be inspired on my business page, the Gold Digger Girls, when you guys will see me next. So I'll see you later. Thanks again, Charlotte. Thank Have a good you. one. Bye. Bye.